Hey guys, happy prep Sunday. I thought I would take a few minutes to show you what I'm doing this afternoon and what I'm getting ready for the week. I have a couple things that I'm doing and I just wanted to show you guys because I'm gonna try and make another video later this week um, about how I make like a really quick dinner and I just wanted to show you what kind of prep work is involved in that too. And you're gonna have to excuse the power tools while I'm doing this because my mom is Bob the Builder. So for lunches this week, I think I'm going to make some Mediterranean tuna salad, and I've never made this before, so I'm just kind of making it up as I go. I don't really have a recipe. I'm just going to use some celery, lemon, olive oil, um, some capers, and tuna. I love capers. These are caper um, berries, I think. They're like little, uh, they're just little round things, and they're delicious. <laughs> um, they're almost like pickled. They're like very vinegary and tart and salty. They're really good. Okay, so getting a little more specific than delicious little round green things, I'm going to have my sister read to you um, what a caper is. She doesn't want to be on camera, though. So we're just going to look at this lovely pile of ingredients while she tells us, Megan, what is a caper? Capers are the unripened flower buds of the Capirus spinosa, a prickly perennial plant which is native to the Mediterranean and some parts of Asia. Their use dates back to more than... 1200 BC, where they are mentioned as a food in the Sumerian cuneiform Gilgamesh, an ancient <laughs> retelling of the Great Flood and Ark legend. Okay. <laughs> okay. I think we get it. I think we get it. What are their prickly... What was the first thing you said? It's a prickly perennial plant named Capirus spinosa. A prickly, prickly perennial plant. There you have it. They're delicious. <laughs> Okay, there's more. We did, we cut her off before we got even to the best part. She's going to read the best part to us now. Go ahead. Well, apparently this variety of capers is from the south of France. Capers have long been a favorite in the Mediterranean region. The small green herb buds lend a piquant, sour, salty flavor to salads, piquant. dressings, sauces, vegetables, and a variety of main dishes. <laughs> just love the piquant flavor of these prickly perennial plants. <laughs> okay, so here's the finished product. I just used four cans of tuna, a quarter cup of the capers, about a cup of chopped celery, and um, I, the juice of one lemon. And I think that's it. So I just separated the tuna salad into these little individual containers. Um, we have six servings here. So my sister and I have lunch already made for three days this week. So I made some little green salads and packets of whole wheat crackers to go with our tuna salad this week. I'm using these um, like Stop and Shop Nature's Promise brand knockoff Triscuits and the only ingredients in them, which I was pretty surprised, the only ingredients are whole wheat and salt, which is pretty clean. All right, here is an example of a lunch for this week. I have my tuna salad, a little green salad, my crackers, and then this week I'm just gonna have some cheap seasonal fruit. Um, I'm having clementines and an apple, just because the last few weeks I've kind of gone a little crazy with the fruit and got expensive stuff like mangoes and berries and pineapple, so I am balling on a budget this week. So we've got some cheap, delicious seasonal fruit. Okay, so now that lunches are pretty much made, I'm just gonna get started on prepping some stuff for a dinner I'm gonna make this week. So later this week, I wanna show you guys that it's possible and it's really easy to have a super healthy meal during the week, even when you don't have a ton of time. And the best way to do that is to prepare ahead of time. So it's Sunday afternoon, obviously this is the prep Sunday video. Um, and I'm just getting some stuff ready for dinner, which I think I'm gonna make this dinner on Tuesday. Um, so one of the things that I'm cooking is some rice, some um, brown rice, and this is something that kind of takes a little while to cook, so that's why I'm doing it ahead of time. And I'm gonna chop my vegetables that I'm gonna eat that night and get that all ready, and that's pretty much all the prep work we're gonna do. Okay, so I'm gonna cook my rice. I have one cup of brown and wild rice here to two and a half cups of water. This is gonna make four servings and um, I think there will be three of us that night for dinner, but it'll be good to have a little bit of leftovers. 
Okay, so I have my water and my rice combined in the saucepan. I'm just gonna put a lid on it and bring that to a boil. And once it comes to a boil, I'll just reduce the heat to a simmer and cook for 45 to 55 minutes. I'm also just gonna prep some of my vegetables for that night. This is just a head of broccoli. I'm just gonna chop it up and wash it and put it in the refrigerator until I'm ready to use it. Okay, so I washed and chopped my broccoli. It's in this bag and this is just gonna stay in the refrigerator until Tuesday night when I get home from work and I'm ready to cook it. My rice is cooking over here on the stove. That's probably gonna be another 40 minutes. Um, and I think it's important to just get this kind of stuff ready because if I got to Tuesday night and I got home from work and I was starving, there's no way that I would take the time to cook rice and chop vegetables. I would probably just grab the easiest thing I can. So I think preparing ahead of time is definitely the key. Okay, so it's been almost an hour and my rice is cooked. I'm just going to put this in the refrigerator where it will stay for two days until I'm ready to make it for dinner. All right, you guys, that's about it for this prep Sunday. Thank you so much for watching. Please check back on like Tuesday or Wednesday to see what I end up doing with that rice and broccoli. I think it's gonna taste really, really good and it's cheap and it's really easy and it's super healthy. So please check back and see what I end up doing with that stuff. The whole point of my blog, frugalfoodiefrank.com, and these videos on my channel are to share with you guys how I'm able to live a healthy lifestyle with limited time and money and the prep work that goes into making that happen. So I think today is a good example of what kind of work I do on the weekends to get myself ready for the week. So you saw today I prepped a bunch of um, lunches, so I'll have healthy lunches throughout the week. I also, I don't think I recorded this in the video, but um, I made some little instant oatmeal packets, um, and maybe I'll share that recipe on my blog soon, but I made some oatmeal packets, so I have breakfast ready for the week, um, and I prepped a few things for dinners throughout the week, so I can show you guys um, how I do that. So thank you. <laughs> so as always, if you like these videos and if you want to see more really good inexpensive cheap and healthy recipes go to my blog frugalfoodiefrank.com i'll leave the link to that in the description below and also give this video a thumbs up please subscribe i have no subscribers so please subscribe i can see the view counts and i know that at least some people are watching these videos so please hit subscribe leave a comment tell me if you try something i make or if you like these videos um and that's it. So check out frugalfoodiefrank.com. Thanks.